Galatians 5:24. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. Anyone who truly belongs to Jesus Christ has exercised true repentance and has a hatred for his or her own sinful nature and its desires. Those that are in Christ still sin, but they do not feel comfortable in sinning and do not continually walk in sin. They don't make excuses so they can sin. They are in the process of putting their old nature, their old ways, to death. And in principle, they've already done so. Don't be one of those Christians that doesn't put the work in. Who says, well, God made me this way. No. No, he didn't. Your sinful nature is yours. And you need to kill it. Burn it. Destroy it. Don't be one of those Christians that says, I'll never change. Well, with that attitude, you're right. You have to put in an effort. God is not just going to magically wash your sins away and you wake up one day and never, ever, ever feel like sinning ever again. That's not how it works. You have to fight. And for some of us, it'll be harder than for others. But you have to fight even if the fight takes your entire life. Now pray this prayer with me. O oh Lord, show us where sin still lives in us and help us to hate it and to crucify it. When we first turned from sin to you, a conflict began between our old sinful nature and the new nature created in holiness. Our attitude became one of being at war with our sinful flesh. Help us, Lord, to fight that war with weapons that are mighty through God, as your word, spirit-led prayer, and the proper use of the church's ordinances of baptism and the Lord's Supper. Give us strength. Give us victory. The war is eternal. But so are you. Amen.